Wendy Report with Wendy Mesley. Hello! In tonight's news, despite failure in her attempt to become conservative leader, Belinda Stronach is not blaming anyone in particular. But she has fired her old fashion consultant, Bonham Carnival. <laughs> Palestinians are flocking to Hebron to see a lamb with a birthmark that spells out the word Allah in Arabic. Some believe it's a hoax. On the other side is another birthmark which spells out, just do it. <laughs> Scotland Yard has developed a new body scanner which sees through clothing. Airport security guards are excited about the machine's capabilities, but pray they are not on duty the day Camilla Parker Bowles is flying. <laughs> Okay, time for our panel. From Ottawa, correspondent Craig Oliver. Hi, Wendy. Don't tell Lloyd I'm here. <laughs> From the site of this year's Juno Awards in Edmonton, here's the host, Alanis Morissette. In our frame of frail human existence, we must thank providence, disillusionment, nothingness, clarity, and finally, silence. <laughs> what does that mean? What the heck am I doing in Edmonton? <laughs> and for an East Coast perspective from Halifax, the Alexander Keith's raving Scotsman. Well, you fancy yourself a news anchor, do you? You give me the respect I deserve! Now, there's no need to shout. Who's shouting? <laughs> okay, first topic. Miriam Bedard testified at the Parliamentary Committee that the federal government gave Formula One driver Jacques Villeneuve $12 million to wear a Canadian logo on his suit. Craig Oliver. Wendy, I think Miriam Bedard has been snorting her gunpowder. <laughs> Everyone knows to put advertising on a race car driver's suit costs a lot more than $12 million. Alanis? Edmonton. I cut my hair for Edmonton? Alanis, we're talking about Miriam Bedard. Wendy, in the life scheme as it unfolds in the cosmos, Miriam once shot off her rifle as if she were bionic. Now she shoots off her mouth. Isn't it ironic? <laughs> yeah, so? Pretty deep, huh? <laughs> and now I'd like to take off my clothes and sing a song. Uh, no, no, that won't be necessary. <laughs> uh, Keith's raving Scotsman, how can we possibly justify Prime Minister Martin's attitude towards this whole sponsorship mess? You'll not be defaming Mr. Paul Martin, Miss Spilly Pants. A recent poll shows the Liberals at 38%, the Conservatives at 27 and the NDP are a negative integer. <laughs> Paul Martin put his label on the party one MP at a time. You best be giving him the respect he deserves. Well, then you'd vote for Martin next election? Are you daft? I'm an immigrant. I can't vote. A former employee of Alfonso Galliano says her boss met twice a week with managers for the sponsorship program, not four times a year, as Galliano said. Alanis Morissette. <laughs> I've written a song about the ramification of human disillusionment in an unjust world. It captures the ethos of spiritual deprivation. Thank you, Galliano. Thank you, public work. Thank you, Sheila. Put some bloody clothes on! You're scaring the children! Okay, the state of Michigan is placing restrictions on garbage shipments from Ontario. Craig Oliver? Under the new garbage guidelines, Michigan will not accept yard waste, used batteries, or Premier Dalton McGinty's book of election promises. <laughs> oh, that was very amusing. You think you're pretty sharp, you bloody CTV wanker? <laughs> 
so they don't want Canadian garbage south of the border. Well, we take their TV shows. <laughs> Alanis, how about stopping eating when I'm filled up? How about them transparent dangling carrots? How about that ever elusive kudo? What the hell are you spouting about? How about you're a bloody wing nut? <laughs> Thank you. And that's all for now. Thank you, Craig. Remember, don't tell Lloyd. Any final thoughts, Alanis? Yeah, get me out of Edmonton. Pete's raving Scotsman. You, call me. 